Hi, as in the previous video, we have already seen the introduction of HTML in a great detail. Now, in this particular video, we are going to start the implementation. So, in this particular video, I am going to use Notepad++ as a text editor as here I am the Windows user and Google Chrome as my browser. You can choose a basic text editor and a browser of your choice and then you can continue with the same example as I am going to do. So let's see how to start the basic implementation of HTML. So for getting started, what I need is a text editor. So as I said, I'm working in a Windows system. So here I can use Notepad or Notepad++ to write the basic HTML. And here I will use this Notepad++ which is available online for the free of cost. Now here I can start writing the HTML using the basic elements that is tags which will help us in designing this document. So what I'll do, I will start with the angular tag, angular braces here, which I call the tag. All right. So here I'll start with the HTML tag and will finish it up with the closing tag of HTML. In closing tag, I will just put the slash before the HTML or any particular tag. So this is the pair tag, which is having one opening and one closing tag. So whatever I want to put in this HTML, I will put all the things inside these two tags. Now, I will classify the complete document of this HTML in two main portions, that is the head, again with the opening and closing tag. And once you will close the head, you will start with the another section called body. So basically what these two sections will do for us, this head section will take all the resources and titles. For example, if for in the future you're going to put some JavaScript, CSS or any particular library which you want to use later in the body, you can put that all inside the head section. And in body, I will put all those particular portions, all those particular elements which I want to display to the user over the main browser area. So here in the head, what I'll do is I will put a title tag for now, which will be shown in the title bar of the tab. So here I will say first HTML page. All right. So for now, let's save it and for saving, I'll say control S since it's Windows. And somewhere in your system as here, I'm using E drive and HTML pages folder. So somewhere in your system, you can save it. So let's save it with the name first dot html so you can add that html extension by yourself and since here i'm working with note plus notepad plus plus it will give me further options where i can choose the html all right so it will be decorated as html so as soon as i'll save it you can see some formatting helps here in note plus 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 is highlighting the tags with the blue all right, so since I have saved it, let's try to see that in the browser. For that, I will come to the very location where I have saved my web page. So it is e drive, HTML pages folder, and this is the file which I just created. So let's open this. And here at the top of your tab, you can see there is the title, my HTML page and there is nothing in the body because I haven't put anything. So as I said, whatever you want to show to the user, you can write that all right here. For example, my first HTML page. I have saved, I have to save it every time. I'll come back to the browser and here I will refresh by pressing F5 or you can click over this button. So it will say you my first HTML page. Whenever 
a client will request for this particular page the complete HTML is actually sent over the HTTP protocol over the browser of the client so when you right click you can see view page source and here you can see all the raw HTML which I have used for creating this particular file so th that's all about this video in our next video we'll go through some more basic tags